basketball is now inextricably linked to Caitlin Clark's name. In the sports world, her rapid ascent through the WNBA ranks is drawing attention and igniting debates. Thanks to his remarkable career trajectory, which includes breaking numerous records, Clark has been able to discuss subjects outside of basketball, such as racism, respect, and the evolving nature of women's sports. However, her success has not been without controversy, as is the case with every growing star. Her style of play, through her play, she's the dog. I don't think she has that, that trash. Hey, y'all stop your foolishness. Y'all yeah. see the woman feed up. Y'all see her, Caitlin Clark is getting the crowd and right. going. Y'all see Skylar Diggins feed up to make contact with her. Stop this. Y'all oh. mad could that corn fed Iowa girl busting y'all ass. Everything started with a shove, but this wasn't just any shove. It was the kind that might change a person's entire career. A WNBA veteran with years of experience, Skylar Diggins, purposefully shoved Caitlin Clark during a heated game. It might have initially seemed like a standard physical altercation, similar to those in competitive sports. But for those who looked closely, this was more than just a game. The intriguing part came when it appeared to be a declaration or acknowledgement of something simmering beneath the surface. Y'all hey. said she too weak. She can't do this. She lead the WNBA in a sin. She cook it. Let her cook. Hey. Let her cook. Hey, she did speed. Look at the speed walk. Watch the speed walk. Ooh. <laughs> Shannon Sharp is accustomed to controversy by this point. The outspoken sports analyst has a reputation for expressing unfiltered opinions. Furthermore, he did not hold back while speaking after learning about Diggins and Clark's altercation. This is not marketing speak. Sharp made a statement that sparked a flurry of conversation. His words went beyond merely endorsing Clark. They were an appeal to look into the root problems. Why was Caitlin Clark, an inexperienced but highly talented rookie, facing such fierce resistance? This was about more than one episode to Sharpie. The topic of discussion was the long-term effects on women's basketball. Help us! Hey, she's like a double-edged sword, Ocho. She cutting ass left and right. Yep. Both <laughs> sides cutting ass. Wah, 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 wah. Hey, she, she, hey, listen. Cut them up. She's doing well for herself. She's doing well for yes! herself. I, 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 would, I would like, I would like the ladies to, to welcome her with open arms and what she brings to the table. Caitlin Clark is a game changer, not simply another inexperienced player. As soon as she stepped onto the court, she started modifying the regulations. In a previous game versus the Phoenix Mercury, Clark finished with 29 points, 10 assists, and five rebounds. She then put on another incredible performance against the Chicago Sky, scoring 23 points, handing out nine assists, and collecting five rebounds, as if that wasn't already incredible enough. These are the kinds of statistics that make you sit up and take notice, not just fantastic ones. But not everyone is pleased with Clark's achievement. Actually, it seems that her rapid ascent has offended a few WNBA veterans. The pushback Clark is encountering is not limited to the work of Skylar Diggins. So what is the source of this animosity? Is there anything more at work here? Or is it just the game's physical attributes? Kind of on the play before bumping in with Caitlin, it seemed like she she turned to you a little bit um, yeah. after the after the fever I score. I didn't really know Caitlin Clark questions. Did she say anything to you? I don't know what she said. What'd you say to her? I didn't say anything. That's enough. You have to first recognize Caitlin Clark's incredible accomplishments in order to truly appreciate the significance of her launch season. Not only is she succeeding, but she's making history. In just 28 games, Clark shattered the WNBA rookie assist record, a long-standing record. The previous record was held by Taichi Pinashiro, regarded one of the greatest players in league history, which she accomplished in 30 games. Conversely, Clark is not only matching, but surpassing these historical figures. A rookie entering the league and dominating in this way is almost unheard of, and this is creating a stir in the sports world. Rather of receiving widespread praise, Clark's achievement elicited a unique mix of praise and condemnation. Some gamers, especially those who have been playing for a while, seem to be upset that this newbie is getting all the attention. The basketball, watch Caitlin Clark, left side, she doesn't even look at her, waves her hand as if to say, I don't care about you, I'm not defending you. It's normal for jealousy to surface when someone new shows up and starts to shine. Imagine putting years into perfecting your work only to have a novice steal the show. While it makes sense that there could be some animosity, can that really explain the physical and mental strain Caitlin Clark faces while playing on the court? Clark is a well-rounded athlete whose game is constantly improving. She is not just about eye-popping numbers. 
Clark has quickly improved her ball handling, making smarter passes and playing with the confidence of an expert, in contrast to most rookies who struggle with mistakes. It's clear that she has an impact on the game, and both opponents and teammates have noticed. However, fame attracts attention, and some of that criticism has been unfavorable to Caitlin Clark. Her supporters have started to dismiss her accomplishments as white propaganda, claiming that they are overstated because of her race. To be honest though, breaking records and controlling games like Clark does isn't marketing speak. That is sheer talent, and the WNBA is completely rocking because to this expertise. If Caitlin Clark is the vehicle that will bring this sport that I have loved so much and so long to little five-year-old girls playing in Harlem, I say yes, bravo. Yes. I have no problem with that. The idea of white hype is possibly harmful in addition to being disrespectful. It lessens the skill and hard work that athletes like Clark bring to the game making their achievements little more than a product of their skin tone. Furthermore, we have witnessed the progression of this tale previously. Historically, there has been an effort to discredit the achievements of white athletes who win in sports, where players of color predominate. Caitlin Clark is sadly trapped in the midst of this deadly cycle. I do think that there is a thing called pretty privilege there is a thing called white privilege and we have to acknowledge that and so the part of it is about race because if you think about the britney grinders of the world you know why did she have to go to play in because russia they wouldn't pay her. because they would caitlin clark is bringing this money into the league and other players will benefit yeah. from it shannon sharp's endorsement of caitlin clark is significant not only for his words, but also for his character. Sharp made a huge statement as a black man in a predominantly black sport by agreeing to defend a white woman. Instead of letting color sway his opinions, he stands up for greatness whenever he sees it. Instead of being a casual comment, Clark's comparison to NBA players like Larry Bird and Luka Doncic was a deliberate attempt to highlight her impact on the game. Sharp's opinions serve as a reminder that skill transcends racial differences and that a player's true value should be determined by their skill level rather than their skin tone. His words have sparked a crucial conversation about how we handle race in sports and how we may move toward a more objective assessment of players' abilities. I ain't no hype. Y'all said the same thing about Larry Bird. Right. I remember. I'm old enough to remember. They said yeah. the same thing about Larry Bird. Ain't yeah. nothing hype. Ain't I nothing hype about Luka. Ain't nothing hype about Yo Lo Jokic. I get it. We're not used to seeing. She got, sa oh, she's saucy with that thing. Oh, yeah. He's watching her in person. The strain on Caitlin Clark increases as she keeps shattering records and defying expectations. Every choice she makes is scrutinized and every success is called into doubt. Additionally, there is a great deal of pressure to perform along with the intense focus. This degree of scrutiny can be difficult for many athletes, leading to burnout or a decline in performance. Still, Clark hasn't shown any signs of faltering under duress thus far. She seems to be taking it, if anything, as inspiration to work even harder. How long, though, can she continue? Since Clark is still in the early stages of her career, there remains a long and challenging path ahead of her. The WNBA's physical demands are taxing, and being in the spotlight constantly may have an emotional toll as well. But if Clark continues on her current course, who knows how far she will be able to go. In women's basketball, we may be witnessing the emergence of a player who will define a generation. Although Skylar Diggins has been given less attention than Caitlin Clark, her perspective is equally important. After years of dedication and hard effort, Diggins, a WNBA veteran, has earned her position. She is a fierce competitor, and her aggressive style of play has served as both her greatest asset and her worst liability. So why did she decide to push Caitlin Clark? What was going through her mind? The disdain is no longer tolerated by Caitlin Clark and her teammates. Coach Sides chose to defend Clark during this game, which appeared to give her more courage to say offensive things. At the conclusion of the game, Clark decided to put a halt to the shenanigans after growing weary of the Seattle bench's complaints. She advised them not to grieve over a game they had battled so hard to win. Some claim Diggins purposefully tried to scare the rookie by reminding her that she is still a novice in a league full of seasoned experts. Some claim it was an outburst of annoyance, a tangible manifestation of the inner turmoil many senior players go through when a younger, more enthusiastic player starts to outshine them. 
Diggins has not said much about the incident, but some who know her well think it was more about what Clark stands for than it was about Clark himself. For players such as Diggins, Clark embodies the shifting dynamics within the WNBA. The power dynamics change as the league does. This move can be distressing to veterans who have spent years establishing their reputation in the league. Nowadays, a debate wouldn't be complete without including social media. Diggins and Clark's dispute was no exception. Hot takes, memes, and comments poured in on Twitter, Instagram, and other sites almost instantly after the occurrence. Both supporters and pundits voiced their opinions, with some characterizing Diggins' antics as normal for the game, and others denouncing them as an unacceptable manifestation of animosity. Supporters of Caitlin Clark swiftly came around to support her, viewing the event as another proof of her tenacity and resilience. However, Clark's detractors took advantage of the chance to argue that she wasn't really worthy of the attention she was getting. The conversation quickly turned into a heated argument over racism, decency, and how players and women are treated in sports. Social media tends to exaggerate everything. In this instance, it took an already challenging subject and turned it into a full-fledged drama. Diggins and Clark's altercation turned into more than just a momentous occasion. It began to represent the ongoing cultural conflicts in the WNBA and elsewhere. A sea change has occurred for the WNBA. The fan base is growing more engaged and passionate. The skill pool is expanding and the league is growing. But along with this growth, there are some underlying issues that have been simmering beneath the surface for a while now that need to be addressed.